What is nothing? When you say there is nothing in the glass, do you think about the air as nothing? A fish that has never been out of water may think of the water as nothing. But once he is removed from it, he may realize, as he gasps for breath, that the water is definitely something. But then he may decide the air is nothing. We once believed the air was nothing, or that it was the breath of God. It began to occur to us that the air was something even before we ventured beyond it into the near reaches of space. Once we entered space, we believed it was nothing. Then we found that that too was wrong. Most people now believe that nothing is what you have when you remove every electron, proton, and neutron, and every bit of energy they produce. But what if that's also wrong? What if what we perceive as nothing is every bit as alive and fluid as the water a fish is oblivious to? What if early man, upon seeing this and realizing there was a world unseen, came to the same conclusion? What if simple things like these sparked man's earliest belief that there was something greater than ourselves existing within us and all around us? A part of all things, yet apart from all things, eternal and untestable. Thousands of years ago, man began to document the legends and beliefs that had been passed down for generation by word of mouth. Among those beliefs was one that said, before there was everything, there was nothing. And from that nothing a word was spoken, a vibration that resonated across the nothing, dividing it into negative and positive energy, providing the building blocks for what we now know as the universe. Thousands of years later, and we are only now beginning to accept the possibility that string theory may not be a myth. What if that's what God is? A vibration that created this reality. What if the word that creates realities really is part of a law that defines how reality is created from what we perceive as nothing? Not because it says it's law, but because it's law. In the same way that gravity pulls an apple to the ground, not because the law of gravity says it does, just because it does. And this would not break the law of creation any more than this would break the law of gravity.